The Lake by Matthew Arnold Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk Again I see my bliss at hand The town, the lake, are here My Marguerite smiles upon the strand Unaltered with the year I know that graceful figure fair That cheek of languid hue I know that soft enkerchiefed hair and those sweet eyes of blue again i spring to make my choice again in tones of ire i hear a god's tremendous voice be counseled and retire ye guiding powers who join and part what would ye have with me ah warn some more ambitious heart and let the peaceful be end of poem this recording is in the public domain the lake by matthew arnold read for LibriVox.org by domenica campbell again i see my bliss at hand the town the lake are here my marguerite smiles upon the strand unaltered with the year i know that graceful figure fair that cheek of languid hue i know that soft and kerchiefed hair and those sweet eyes of blue again i spring to make my choice again in tones of ire I hear a God's tremendous voice, Be counseled and retire. Ye guiding powers who join and part, What would ye have with me? Ah, warn some more ambitious heart, And let the peaceful be. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Lake by Matthew Arnold, read for LibriVox.org, by David Lawrence. Again I see my bliss at hand, the town, the lake are here. My Marguerite smiles upon the strand, unaltered with the year. I know that graceful figure fair, that cheek of languid hue. I know that soft and kerchiefed hair, and those sweet eyes of blue again i spring to make my choice again in tones of ire i hear a god's tremendous voice be counselled and retire ye guiding powers who join and part what would he have with me ah warn some more ambitious heart and let the peaceful be end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Lake by Matthew Arnold, read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist. Again I see my bliss at hand, the town, the lake are here. My Marguerite smiles upon the strand, unaltered with the year. I know that graceful figure fair, that cheek of languid hue. I know that soft and kerchiefed hair, and those sweet eyes of blue. Again I spring to make my choice. Again in tones of ire I hear a God's tremendous voice, Be counselled and retire. Ye guiding powers who join and part, What would ye have with me? Ah, warn some more ambitious heart, And let the peaceful be. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Lake by Matthew Arnold, read for LibriVox.org by Garth Burton. Again I see my bliss at hand, the town, the lake are here. My Marguerite smiles upon the strand, unaltered with the year. I know that graceful figure fair, that cheek of languid hue. I know that soft enkerchiefed hair and those sweet eyes of blue 
again i spring to make my choice again in tones of ire i hear a god's tremendous voice be counselled and retire ye guiding powers who join and part what would ye have with me ah warn some more ambitious heart and let the peaceful be end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Lake by Matthew Arnold Read for LibriVox.org by Greg Giordano Newport Ritchie, Florida Again I see my bliss at hand The town, the lake are here My Marguerite smiles upon the strand Unaltered with the year I know that graceful figure fair That cheek of languid hue I know that soft and kerchiefed hair in those sweet eyes of blue. Again I spring to make my choice, again in tones of ire. I hear a God's tremendous voice, be counseled and retire. Ye guiding powers who join and part, what would ye have with me? Ah, warn some more ambitious heart, and let the peaceful be. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Lake by Matthew Arnold. Read for LibriVox.org by Ian King. Again I see my bliss at hand, the town the lake are here my margarita smiles upon the strand unaltered with the year i know that graceful figure fair that cheek of languid hue i know that soft enkerchiefed hair and those sweet eyes of blue again i spring to make my choice again in tones of ire i hear a god's tremendous voice be counselled and retire Ye guiding powers who join and part, What would ye have with me? Ah, warn some more ambitious heart, And let the peaceful be. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Lake by Matthew Arnold Read for LibriVox.org by Jim McDougall Again I see my blessed hand, the town, the lake are here, my Marguerite smiles upon the strand, unaltered with the year. I know that graceful figure fair, that cheek of languid hue, I know that soft and kerchiefed hair, and those sweet eyes of blue. Again I spring to make my choice, again in tones of ire, I hear a god's tremendous voice, be counselled and retire. Ye guiding powers who join and part, what would ye have with me? Ah, warn some more ambitious heart, and let the peaceful be. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Lake by Matthew Arnold. Read for LibriVox.org by Leanne Howlett. Again I see my bliss at hand. The town, the lake are here. My Marguerite smiles upon the strand, unaltered with the year. I know that graceful figure fair, that cheek of languid hue. I know that soft, enkerchiefed hair, and those sweet eyes of blue. Again I spring to make my choice. Again in tones of ire, I hear a god's tremendous voice. Be counseled and retire. Ye guiding powers who join and part, what would ye have with me? Ah, warn some more ambitious heart, and let the peaceful be. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Lake by Matthew Arnold 
read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. Again I see my bliss at hand, the town, the lake are here. My Marguerite smiles upon the strand, unaltered with the year. I know that graceful figure fair, that cheek of languid hue. I know that soft, enkerchiefed hair, and those sweet eyes of blue. Again I spring to make my choice, again in tones of ire I hear a God's tremendous voice, be cancelled and retire. Ye guiding powers who joined in part, what would ye have with me? Ah, warn some more ambitious heart, and let the peaceful be. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Lake by Matthew Arnold. Read for LibriVox.org by Leonard Wilson of Springfield, Ohio. Again I see my bliss at hand. The town, the lake are here. My Marguerite smiles upon the strand, unaltered with the year. I know that graceful figure fair, that cheek of languid hue. I know that soft, enkerchiefed hair, and those sweet eyes of blue. Again I spring to make my choice. Again, in tones of ire, I hear a God's tremendous voice, Be counseled and retire ye guiding powers who join and part what would ye have with me ah warn some more ambitious heart and let the peaceful be end of poem this recording is in the public domain the lake by matthew arnold Read for LibriVox.org by Rhymesmith. Again I see my bliss at hand, the town, the lake are here. My Marguerite smiles upon the strand, unaltered with the year. I know that graceful figure fair, that cheek of languid hue. I know that soft and kerchiefed hair, and those sweet eyes of blue. Again I spring to make my choice. Again, in tones of ire, I hear a God's tremendous voice. Be counseled and retire. Ye guiding powers who join and part, what would ye have with me? Ah, warn some more ambitious heart, and let the peaceful be. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Lake by Matthew Arnold Read for LibriVox.org by Maria Casper Again I see my bliss at hand. The town, the lake, are here. My Marguerite smiles upon the strand, Unaltered with the year. I know that graceful figure fair, That cheek of languid hue. I know that soft and kerchiefed hair. And those sweet eyes of blue. Again I spring to make my choice. Again, in tones of ire, I hear a God's tremendous voice. Be counseled and retire. Ye guiding powers, who join and part, What would ye have with me? Ah, warn some more ambitious heart. And let the peaceful be. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.